Ten-foot snowdrifts are a rare sight on Jeff Watson's ranch, but this winter they're part of everyday life. And the snow just doesn't stop coming. We've had uh, one storm after another and it comes down fairly heavy and then it blows and as you see drifts occur and, and causes major problems for even Highway 41. Contributors to the creek. With all this snow, spring flooding is on everyone's mind. So the community met with conservationists to talk about what they can do. Some residents admit flooding is all part of ranching life. Keep my fingers frost that we've got a slow thaw and things will turn out all right. Yeah, no, we've dealt with floods in the past and after all these years you deal with them. Other residents felt while the talk was informative, the flooding they're worried about is on a whole different scale than the advice they got. Honestly, uh, the amount of water that we had coming on June the 18th was a whole different kind of a water shed than what these uh, groups are talking about. In the last two years, the environmentalists talked about building up creek beds to slow rushing water down. But Jeff says slowing down a creek isn't always the best option. And I'm, I'm all for slowing water down where it needs to be. But in urban, that channel needs to be cleaned out and opened up so that, that water, when it comes down there, because of the gradient that urban has there, there isn't much slope towards Medicine Hat. Therefore, it slows down enough as it is. Rushing water turned the town of Irvine into a lake last June. Now there's new worry a flood could destroy all the cleanup. The other concern is where we've had disaster fund money put into repairing big washouts and dam areas. They've all got riprap on them and everything else. But if a major volume of water comes and it runs over that same area, there's a very good chance that virgin soil without any grass established in it or any trees or bush to hold it, it possibly might go again. For Jeff, the snow doesn't slow down work on the ranch, but he worries about the town of Irvine and the threat of flooding this spring. Kelsey Morrison, Chat News.